This is Visio 2003-2007 Electrical Systems Drawing Part 4, which will be creating device data fields. This is the drawing that we uh, created before. One thing a little different is we've uh, completed the room numbers. Um, take a look at the devices that created earlier. And we've established data fields which will be used for generating reports for these items. So our first step is we're going to select all of these devices and we're going to create data fields for them all at the same time. Right click and we'll go to data, shape data. Uh, at which point we'll say we do want to define shape data. Yes, and uh, we'll put in shape data one at a time. First thing I'm going to put in is a type of device. And uh, there's a label and a name, and uh, they can generally be pretty much the same, but uh, for the name, we'll be using that in later programming, so we're going to have to pay careful attention to it. Now, the type we're going to use in this case is a fixed list. This will give us a choice of types. So we're going to put in uh, all the types that we might use. Let's start with pull station. And then we put a semicolon between the uh, different types that we put in here. We have heat detector. And then uh, smoke detector. We'll have a horn. A horn strobe combination. value empty on this and uh, that will complete what we need to put in for that field of type. We can click new to select another one. This time we're going to put in a circuit. And see where we'll put the circuit that the device is on. We've added a string and for the value um, we're going to put in here Typically on a circuit, we're going to have a letter identifying what type of circuit it is, and then a number, so I'm going to put a, an L and an N. And it's just so that there's something in that in that field. And we're going to add another one, and uh, this will be device ID, and the number of the device. And where we go for name down here, we're going to uh, avoid spaces, so we use the same thing as a label, but here we're going to use an underscore instead of a space. And uh, the device ID, uh, this will be a number. And so for value here, I'm going to put uh, just N, 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 which would represent three numbers. And then we'll be adding one more field. And this will be room number. instead of a space. And here typically uh, again we'll have uh, some numbers. I'm just going to put N, N, N in there for right now. And then we'll click OK and this should give us uh, all the data fields for these devices. Click OK. Now each one of these devices uh, should have this data field. We're going to view the uh, shape data window. And this will indicate the stuff of the devices right away. So when we look on the first device here, we'll see uh, these are the data fields that we put in. We're just seeing these default values. Now, for each one of these, we're going to want to select the type. And uh, we have ones that are gonna, we're going to be using in the legend and ones that we'll be using you know, in the drawing. But uh, I'm going to hold down the control key and select two heat detectors and then go up here and choose heat detector. Now, one uh, nice feature of Visio is that you can select a number of objects and uh, 
assign values to the data fields and all of them at the same time, just the way we selected all of these and created data fields for them. Now I'm going to do the uh, smoke detectors, holding down the control key again. Uh, I'm going to select smoke detector. We'll do the same thing with uh, full stations. Select the station. Do the horns. Do the horn strobes. And finally, we'll do the strobes. Okay, and that uh, assigns a type to all of these devices. Uh, so if we just look, for instance, at the full station here, we'll say full station, type, uh, same thing here. And uh, basically, that's the procedure for assigning the data fields. Uh, we'll be doing some additional stuff with these fields uh, in the next video.